five, six, seven, eight. Tell me what's your cross, open, left, open. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new dance tutorial to Motive by Ariana Grande featuring Doja Cat. Now, I mentioned in the dance video, this is my favorite song off of the new Ari album. And I've just been waiting for the right time to film this dance and tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys are ready to learn a fun dance routine. This song gives me feel good vibes. So if you're here for that, and if you are a beginner, because this routine is totally suitable for beginners, then just stay tuned. Quickly, I wanted to mention a few disclaimers. The first disclaimer is that the song will not be in this tutorial video. That is purely because of copyright. The dance has already been uploaded with the music. When you are ready and you've learned the whole routine, you can go and practice with the music as many times as you need to. Their dance video will be linked down in the description. It'll also be the pinned comment. Second disclaimer, this tutorial will be mirrored so everything behind me is going to flip around. I will always say if I'm using my right arm or my left leg, just so you guys can make sure that you are on track throughout the whole routine. And also I would love some feedback. Do you guys prefer when these tutorials are mirrored? Because obviously I want to do what you guys want. Last disclaimer, I'm so sorry if it is a little bit windy. Obviously I'm filming outside just due to the current circumstances. It's a lot harder to get studio space. And I did mention a few videos back, winter's going to be quite hard for filming these tutorials because obviously like like the weather and I live in London and it's pretty much either always gloomy or raining so yeah I hope you guys don't mind too much I will try and fix the sound as much as I can in edit but I'm so sorry if it is super windy but lastly I just wanted to mention if you have come straight from the dance video I have changed my trainers I was wearing my beautiful trainers that were gifted to me by wow sneaker and I'm obsessed with them if you haven't seen the dance video go look at them they're beautiful but I just don't want to crease them too much because if you're a trainer girl like me you will know that like if you're dancing and training a lot they get creased really really easily and I want to try and keep them as nice as possible so I've just switched to an older pair that I don't mind like creasing so yeah without further ado if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and let's get started learning this routine so we are going to be coming in at the chorus so it's basically the section where she says so tell me what's your motive and we're actually dancing to the first chorus not the second so we're gonna step left right and we're gonna hop so we're really gonna swing our arms and make those steps as bouncy as possible but we're just stepping left right like so so our left leg is free with the weight off ready to go into the next move we're going to step that left leg out into a second position and we're going to lean into that left hip and we're going to cross our arms like so we're then going to open our arms up as we switch over to the right hip so that's just going to look like boom boom and you will hear in the music these beats are really really prominent and you won't be able to miss them so just make sure that you're changing on those beats from here we're going to hit Boom. so we're just pushing our hands over to the left and we're twisting the top half of our body so our legs are staying in the same position but our body is twisting to the left so we're just hitting boom 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 and then we're just going to open our arms out like so and you're just naturally going to be sunk into that right hip so to recap that is going to look like five six seven eight tell me what's your boom 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 so just four beats that we're going to hit there and again this is really really painful so just have a ton of fun with that from here we're gonna hit bum bum so we're ever so slightly gonna just drag that right leg in so that we can tap bum bum so our leg is just flicking out and tapping in twice and our arms are just going up and down and you really want to engage that right hip here so you get a little bit of hip action as you do that and you can either keep that left arm flexed or you can it into a fist position sometimes it helps me to click as i do that because it helps me to keep on beat so if that's helpful for you then you can definitely do that too so we've hit bum bum we're then going to step on this right leg we're going to step out like so and then we're going to push that left leg over so all that we're doing here the left leg is just kind of twisting in like so and you're catching that hip on that beat so you're hitting bum and your arms are just pushing and they're hitting bum so as you hit that leg you're also hitting your arms at the same time so that's going to look like bum bum step here from here we're going to do two steps towards the left hand side but we're facing the back so we hit bum we're just going to step left right so our left leg is just stepping out our right leg is crossing over it and our arms are just really kind of loose but also kind of like swinging in the direction that we're walking so we're just doing two steps and really engaging our arms so we hit bum we're hitting step step 
From here, we're going to jump our legs into a second position on releve, back to face the front. So we're going to hit them. So we're just on our toes like so, our arms are up. And then we're going to sink into that right hip as we push our arms down. And our focus is switching down to the right diagonal like so. So we're just hitting boom, boom. And like I said, that move is going to turn you from facing the back to facing the front like so. From here, we're bringing that right leg in to join the left. So we're cheating ever so slightly because our weight is actually off of the left leg. But we're just going to switch our weight really, really quickly to push, boom, boom. So all we're doing is we're bringing that right leg in to join the left leg. We're bending our legs and we're always doing a bit of a snake motion with our body. So we're kind of pushing our head down and then we're kind of bringing our head up. And we really want to make sure that you arch your back as much as possible. So you're almost like a snake there. So you just want to hit boom, boom. From here, we're going to do a part of a So we're going to step right, left, right. So that's three steps, that is dance terminology. And this is quite fast. To get you guys familiar with the speed, it's going to look like one and two. So three steps, right, left, right. To add our arms, we finish here. Our arms are just on our knees like so. We're basically going to hit, boom. So that right arm is punching out in front of us. The left arm is on that right elbow. We're then going to step, boom. Boom. So we're going to hit boom, boom, boom. So it's kind of like we're pushing the arm around almost. So it's kind of like it's going around the left arm. But just keep practicing and kind of do whatever feels comfortable here. As long as you kind of get three arm motions, that is the most important thing. From here, we're going to do the same move that we did earlier where we did this motion. We're doing that exact same move again, but we finished here and this is quite fast. So it's a little bit trickier because you want to jump your legs almost to hit that because our legs are out. So it's a little bit harder to get into that position, but just keep practicing, keep jumping your legs together and you'll definitely get it. So we finished here, we're going to hit bum, bum. So we're just hitting up and down. And this time, definitely keep that left arm in a fist. I feel like it's easier for this section. So we've hit, hit and hit. Again, remembering to engage our hip. We're then gonna step that right leg out and we're gonna hit, boom, boom. I'm sure you guys can do this move no matter what level you are. This is just really fun. We're just swinging our arms to the right and then swinging our arms to the left. And as we do so, we're kind of flicking our hair right, left, and also engaging our hips. So we're just pushing to the right hip and then the left hip. So really, really fun, right, left. Just have fun with it. Like I said, this song just gives me feel good vibes. So it kind of just like brings back all the old dance moves. And that's kind of like where I wanted to take this routine. So we finished here. From here, we're gonna go back to the right. We're basically gonna twist our legs in, out, in, out, in, out. So just practice that motion a bit. If you are on like nice floor, not like concrete like me, you can definitely do this in socks. It'll be a lot easier because you'll be able to slide. If you're on carpet, definitely a little bit harder, probably a bit more like dancing on concrete. But just keep practicing, it's definitely really easy. You just wanna go right, left, and right. And to add our arms, our arms are just gonna to come together like so. So you're like clapping and then you're closing your arms into a big fist. You're gonna hit to the right, to the left, and then we're gonna do a double one to the right. And obviously this is faster, but if you can get that nailed a little bit slower, it'll be really easy to speed it up. So we're just hitting boom, and boom, and boom, boom. And the biggest tip I have, especially if you're on floor that's a little bit hard, is just try and bounce as much as possible and like jump it almost, because that will help you get off the floor. And also bend low. The lower that you bend, the easier that it is to kind of control your legs and your arms. And also twist your body the direction that you're going. So when you're going to the right, twist to the right, then twist to the left, then over, and then twist to the right. And the more that you practice that, the easier it will be to speed it up. And also, I just want to mention, because we're going from here, it's kind of like a continuation, because we're kind of just carrying on that like right, left bouncing motion. So just really, really have fun with it and really bounce with that. So we finished, boom. But from here, we're gonna jump our legs. They're staying in the same position, essentially. We're just jumping them into a second. So we're just staying with our legs in the second position. We're gonna push our arms in front of us. The right arm is on top of the left, so it's crossed. And then we're gonna jump again, so we hit that. So this is gonna look like one and two. So this is really, really bouncy. You don't move the feet 
here you just kind of move your body and you almost bounce your body and you sink into that left hip and you really want to emphasize that click and you're going to do the same thing to the right so we're just going to jump forward again and then we're going to click and feel free to add your own spin here if you want to do different arms please go for it as long as you're kind of getting that like feel good jumpy move that is the main thing from here we're going to step onto this left leg and we're just going to drag so that right leg is dragging in to join the left and that right arm is just going around like so we're then going to jump our right leg across our left so we're going to hit boom and as you can see our arms are pushing out like so and then naturally we're going to unravel our feet and that's going to turn us all the way back around to face the front so obviously that is a little bit quicker and the more momentum that you put into that jump the easier it's going to be to turn so we've just finished boom hit boom hit we've dragged and we're going to go boom hit. So you can see I use my arms, so from here I kind of push my arms to help me get all the way around to the front. And really quickly we're going to step onto this left foot, so that's almost straight away, so that's why you need the momentum to turn you around. Because we're going to step forward on this left leg, we're going to push that right arm up like so. The left arm is just really loose, you can kind of grab your trackies or whatever you're wearing. We're then going to step that right leg out. It's going to dig into the floor like so and as we do so the arm is just going to come down your lip she's going to say ball beep and that's why we're going to hit that like shush you're not saying the word so we're just stepping forward and then stepping out and here you really want to make sure that you arch your back as much as possible i'm nowhere near as flexible as i used to be but if you are flexible feel free to get that arch like really go for it so we're just gonna hit a boom like so. From here, we're gonna bend both of our legs and we're gonna do a hip dip to the left. So you're just placing your hands on your hips and you're just sinking into that left hip. And these like three counts, you do have quite a lot of time. Three, four, five, six. You have two counts to do each of those moves. So really, really spend time just feeling out all of those motions. From here, we're gonna dig this right leg. So we're gonna hit boom. So we're just bringing that left arm in and then we're gonna push forward as we bring that right leg to join the left. So that's gonna look like dig with that right leg and then step. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna go dig and then step like so. And again, these arms are quite free. If you wanna like change it up, feel free. But it's just like a pull and a push and a pull and a push like so. So we've hit one, two, hit, hit. Our weight is free off of that right leg. So we're gonna hit one and two. So that right leg is just twisting twice. It's gonna twist out, in, out, in. And our right arm is just punching up, in, up, in. So your arm is almost like controlling your leg. They're kind of mirroring each other. So hitting boom, and boom, and. From here, we're gonna step in this right leg and we're gonna use our arms to kind of push it up and then come in like so. So we're going one, two, three, four. We have like four counts there. So just kind of push around and bring our arms down. I'm going to step that right leg in to join the left. We're going to bring our arms in here and we're going to hit boom, boom. And you will hear in the music where you hit that boom, boom. And feel free to kind of engage your head as well if you want to. Now we are almost through with all of the moves. We've just got the tiniest section left. So to finish off the whole routine, you guys are doing so well. You've learned so much. We're going to step on this left leg. We're going to hit Boom. We're just stepping that left leg out, the right leg is going to come in to join the left leg and as we do so our arms are just pushing over our head like so and then our right leg is going to go out and then come in a little bit quicker. If you guys have been doing my routines for a while you'll be familiar with this move so I'm sure that you guys have got this one. But then I'm going to step on the right leg, this time our left arm is coming up, we're bringing the left leg in and then we're just going to push down as the left leg goes back out. So that's just two of those moves and again if you want to change up the arms please feel free to do so from here we're going to do another like part of a raise so we're just going to cross that left leg over we're going to step back on the right then we're going to set that left leg out and then we're going to do another step to jump us into a wider second position and we're going to push our arms down in the middle and we're going to twist that right leg in and then we're going to twist that left leg in and this is quite jumpy so we've just finished boom in hit we're just going to hit one two three jump one and hit and then we're going to bring that right leg in to join the left so we're just going to hit cross hit and that is the end of this routine if you guys want to change up that last bit feel free this little bit is just a little bit of fun so we're just playing around with that but that is all of the moves in this routine broken down slowly for you guys 
The beauty of these tutorial videos is that you can rewind as many times as you need to until you have got all of the moves down. So please, please, please rewind, go over any sections that you need to, and then come back to this section. And I'm gonna go through the whole routine a little bit faster, but not completely up to speed. And then when you guys are ready, like I mentioned, you can go practice with the dance video, which will have the music in as many times as you need to. So from the beginning, we're gonna hit five, six, seven, eight. Tell me what's your cross, open, left, open, down, run, step, kick, one, and up, down, push, and part of ball, right, hit, hit, swing, swing, one, and two, and round, hit, jump, and hit, jump, and hit, drag, and cross, down, and around, step forward, step out, hit, dip, Catch, step, catch, step, round, 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 two, three, four, in and hit, to the left and out, to the right and out, step, back, step, jump, twist and twist and round, catch. But that is the end of this tutorial video. I hope you guys have managed to learn this routine. This song is so fun to dance to and I hope that this routine is just as fun to dance to. So if you guys did manage to learn this routine and you managed to film it, I would absolutely love to watch you guys and like repost you on my story and all of that good stuff. So all of my socials are always linked down below. So if you guys do want to do any of that, please, please tag me. But I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you are. Leave me a comment down below and we can definitely have a little chat but apart from that i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>